Hi, welcome to Tech Tips and Tech Stuff. My name is Ron, and today is Movie Studio Monday, where I devote tutorials to people running Movie Studio. And today we're using Movie Studio 16 Platinum. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to show you how to move images across your videos, still images across the videos, to give it a realistic look, like the image is actually part of the video. So first of all, I always like to start off fresh. Get rid of all these tracks, hold the control key down, right click, delete tracks. Grab my video, drag to a timeline, we'll automatically create a new video track for us. So this is a tripod time lapse video of the sky, clouds moving across the sky. We're going to slow this down because it's going too fast. So holding the control key down. Strike it out to about 29 seconds here. That's better. Okay, before we begin here, before we begin, if you don't see all these buttons here, click on this, edit button set, and show all. Make sure show all is selected. Same in the preview window. Edit visible button set, show all, just so it's easier for video editing. Okay, so now we're going to insert an image. So insert a video track, grab the image, it has to be a transparent image. So there's a transparent image of a balloon. You can, if you have a background uh, in there, say a, a picture of a sky or whatever behind the balloon, you have to use a program like Photoshop to remove it to make the image transparent. It has to be a PNG. So PNGs uh, will be a transparent image. So we're going to make this go across the screen. Now how to do that is go to Track Motion. Make sure Sync Cursor is enabled. Let's make this a little smaller. Let's position it. Just as coming into frame. I'll go with the cursor, put the cursor at the end here. And right now, as soon as you start moving this, it will create a keyframe for us. So let's move it across the screen. Like the wind is blowing it slowly. Move it across the screen. Out of frame. Let's keep from here, right click, it's like slow, and you play it back, it looks something like this. So it gives a realistic appearance, it looks like an actual balloon you filmed in the sky. So this will work with any image that's transparent. So it's a very simple tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. New videos every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. So once again, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.